What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video in the winter. Uh, it's not it's not cold though. It's pretty nice out today. I don't know about this town, but by my house it was about 60 degrees when I left. I'm in Oh, whoops. I forgot to put my phone away. I'm in Port Jefferson. Just had a quick bite to eat. Now I'm gonna head to school. Very nice town. I think this is my first time being here. So the topic for today's video is why I started motovlogging. Now, the reason I started motovlogging, I figured, you know, I'm on the bike all the time. When it's warm out, I'm riding almost every day. That's a nice bike. Oh, that was the 114. Yeah, that was really nice. Um, so I'm riding almost every day. And I feel like I see a lot going on. You know, I encounter a lot. So why not put a camera on my helmet and capture it all? And then I can share. I'm not really sure how this works, but I'm gonna go. So yeah, that's my idea behind it. I think I have to make a left here. Did I make a left? Actually, no, I don't think I did. Go ahead, go ahead. Me being an idiot. So I guess what I should have said is I encounter a lot because I do a lot of stupid stuff. Nah, not really. I just uh, don't know where I am. And instead of paying attention to where I'm going, I'm talking to you guys. Anyway, um, you, know, you know, so not really over here. I, I think this area, especially, you know, when you're going out further out east of the island, um, it gets a little better in terms of drivers and people being in such a rush. I mean, it's still New York. I'm not gonna say people over here are perfect or they never cut you off or whatever, but it definitely happens way more often in Nassau County and obviously in Queens, which I try not to go into. But my grandmother lives in Queens, so I find myself traveling into Queens more often than I would like to. So another thing that's kind of related to that is, you know, I, I watch other moto vloggers, you know, a lot of the big ones, the, the more popular moto vloggers, and they're usually like from Canada or California. And obviously that's fine, right? It, there's nothing wrong with that. But I'll see them complaining about bad drivers and I'm not gonna say that they don't have bad drivers, but I think it's much worse over here. So I figured, let me capture it uh, because not only, I mean, I think people actually like watching bad drivers, um, but more than anything else, it's for educational purposes. I want to show people 
basically what not to do and hopefully because I'm gonna assume it's gonna be bikers that are watching these types of videos hopefully I can show how I react to bad situations um, I'm not gonna say I am perfect whatsoever but instead of being like, oh, I'm gonna slash your tires and rip your mirrors off and all that stuff. I'm gonna try to explain my my thoughts and my you know my point of view um, to to the person if they don't understand you know what what went wrong. Um, so that's one thing. You know, don't do it. Uh, so, yeah, you know, I, I want to share this stuff. And I mentioned that it's probably going to be bikers. I mean, you know, I hope it's some drivers too, though. I, I hope that they watch it maybe out of curiosity or whatever. And then maybe they see how certain maneuvers are not safe around bikes. Or maybe not safe, period. And maybe they'll decide, maybe I should stop doing that if, if they were doing it. Or, you know, I want to make drivers understand too where we're coming from what we have to deal with and stuff so that's another reason yo so to sum everything up uh it's to educate people i want people to see uh what, what goes on on a bike so first lesson don't do what i did before because <laughs> you're gonna get hit Thankfully, I was on a street where traffic was moving, but it wasn't like flying. The speed limit was probably like 25 to 40. That's pretty much all I have for you in this video. So until next time. Oh, by the way, I wanted to mention this. I love my GoPro Hero 5 session. I had the Hero 5 Black, or I, or I think that's what they call it. Yeah, you know, the bigger one. Um, it was good, you know, I, I don't have any complaints about it, except for the price. I got this one for $199. So I don't see how anything could beat that. This camera has video stabilization. Um, you can plug in a mic. I mean, you still need to use the gigantic GoPro adapter, which I think is stupid, but it works nonetheless. So with the money that I saved, um, you know, I, I think it was the better choice. Anyway, the reason I'm mentioning it is because I've been having so many issues with the microphone. So to be honest right now, I don't even know if this is working because multiple times I've tried to record the same exact video and then I go home, plug it in and it's just video and no audio. So I've called GoPro. I've read tons of forums trying to figure out what's going on here. You know, it's not a, the microphone that I'm using isn't like a Sony or, you know, a big name brand. I got it off Amazon, but it's a microphone. It should be working. If it had a lot of noise, I would understand that because it's maybe it's not, you know, the the best brand. But there was nothing. So there's obviously an issue there. I probably should have went straight. Yeah, whatever. Now I'm turning. I'm not going to do what I did last time on this road. Anyway, so I've been having a ton of issues with the microphone. Uh, I finally, well, at least I think I figured it out. We'll see. If this video is up, then it worked, obviously. So that's all I have. Um, if you guys haven't hit the subscribe button already, do so.
Excuse me.